hello there so in this video i am going to show you how i made this um, battery cover in carbon fiber um well battery cover it covers the torpedo battery and um, i will turn back time a few months back in the cold winter to my basement where i made this one uh, so please follow along to see the process it's going to be a two-part video uh, first video I'm making the mold and the first outer layer of uh, carbon fiber and then the second video is going to be the coring material and then the inner and the final trim and um, mounting here on the boat so uh, please follow along hi so in this video I'm going to start building a new um, battery uh, compartment cover made of carbon fiber uh, last video I showed you a brief introduction to the new uh, Day to Raid boat and one of the first projects is that I'm gonna move the Torquedo uh, lithium battery to the uh, to the center of the boat so it's gonna sit on the top of the keel and uh, the issue is that the uh, lithium battery is about the same height or just like five millimeter higher than the uh, than the floorboards so I need to make a new uh, cover that has a slight hump uh, just to, to give a bit more clearance uh, so that's what we're gonna build in this video. So I cheat a bit and I start building the uh, the mold for this. Uh, so basically, it's gonna be an L-shaped um, cover. So on the four side, that's where we're gonna have that little hump that's gonna give some clearance for the battery. And then it's gonna have the L shape going just up the um, the main bulkhead where the companionway doors. Uh, so I basically just made a L-shaped um, mold here, the base mold. And with the help of my 3D printer, I uh, printed some parts. So that's basically going to give the uh, the hump shape. So I'm going to put one here. Another piece over here. I'm going to have another piece here and here. And then on the end face, we're going to have these two guys and these two guys. So that's the that's the corner of the L, so you're gonna have um, the the finished part wrapping up here. So that's the the bulkhead of the boat. Yeah, so I know from experience that the epoxy can have a quite hard time adhering to these um, uh, old IKEA shelves. So I just scrubbed off. So I just took the saw there and uh, you know cut some lines. It's not very pretty. It's a bit like just to scrub off the surface. Yeah, so I glued in the six pieces of uh, 3D printer and also the centerpiece in this uh, polycarbonate. That's just the spacer, those five millimeters. Uh, I also managed to, to mix a bit of uh, uh, ferron compound. So I just filled the cracks between the, uh, the 3D print parts here. One thing I'm missing is the last piece of polycarbonate that's going to be down here. Uh, but that's going to be tomorrow when everything's secured here because I don't want to mess around with this anymore. So it's now a, a few days later. And the 3D print parts are now glued in place with the epoxy, also with the, uh, the pull the cabinet here and also here. So off camera, I did a bit of um, filling uh, with some used the 409 from West System and a lot of sanding. <laughs> Next step, that's applying this uh, pattern coat primer to the entire mold surface. Uh, it's a um, high built primer, so uh, when it's cured, then, um, then we're gonna sand it down. So we're gonna have a nice even coat on the entire mold face. Um, since we're not on epoxy base, this is, uh, needs to be uh, catalyzed with the um, MEKP. Uh, so it's gonna be super smelly, so I'm gonna wear my mask, of course.
to just finish sanding um, after applying that uh, high gloss uh, pattern coat. And uh, I can say I'm definitely not going to use that again. Um, since it's polyester based, the entire house just reaps of uh, styrene. And I'm very happy that the uh, the captain and my daughter is at home because uh, I'm pretty sure she would be absolutely pissed. Uh, so I'm going to switch over to the West Systems again. I'm going to add a bit of filler and some white pigment just to see like kind of like where I am. There's still a few minor small uh, imperfections uh, I need to fill. Uh, so I hope I can just do with another coat.
it's the uh, next day, so it's been just about 24 hours since I did the uh, layout, and looks very um, well hot now. So let me demold it, and um, well, this is the most exciting part of it, the uh, of a laminating project. So I got all the peel ply and perforate the film off and um, what looked to be quite easy demold I think it's going to be a bit more difficult because I made the rookie mistake of having the fabric just hanging a bit over the, um, the mold flange here and now there's a nice nice uh, mechanical lock so I will find the uh, Dremel tool and, and by pure magic I managed to remove the Rookie mistake, so there's no video evidence of that one. Uh, so now we should be able just to move this off the mold. This one actually came out uh, quite quite well. So I'm gonna end this video now because this is just the first piece of this part. This is the outer skin. So in the next video, I'm gonna start putting in the um, the, uh, the core material, and then on top of that one, I'm gonna mold the so the internal side also in common fiber. So this part will be plenty stiff because this is gonna be a a step on. So the companion way is gonna be up here. So this is what you're gonna step on when you into the uh, the somewhat small cabin in the new book. Um, so stay tuned and uh, see you next time.